Are you tired of looking for novelty material to complete a project? Why not try making your own fabric? In this video, you'll get a quick look at how you can use your home inkjet printer to print on fabric. You'll see how you can transfer any black and white design, photo, or type page to fabric as long as it's 8.5 by 11 or smaller. Along with your inkjet printer, you'll need a few supplies. A quarter yard of 100% cotton fabric in white or light color, freezer paper, rotary cutting tools, and your ironing basics. First, cut an 8.5 by 11 rectangle from freezer paper. Since I have leftover paper on my board, I usually go ahead and cut a second 8.5 by 11 rectangle to keep in reserve. Press your fabric and then cut a slightly smaller rectangle from your fabric, about 8 and 3 8 inches by 10 and 7 8 inches. I find that my fabric gets hung up on the printer if it's exactly on the edge of the freezer paper, so that's why I like the fabric to be a little bit smaller. To press your fabric to the freezer paper, take the dull side and place it against your ironing board. The right side of your fabric gets placed on top of that shiny side. Line up your fabric so you can see a little extra of that freezer paper all the way around. And then press. It's good to use a pressing cloth if you have one handy, but it's not necessary. After pressing, I notice a little extra sliver of fabric as you can see here at the top right. All you need to do is trim off the excess. You want to make sure that there's no fabric hanging over the edges. After pressing, the paper may continue to curl. It must be flat for before printing. Stack a few books on top to flatten it. Before going to the printer, make sure that all the edges of the fabric are stuck to the freezer paper. You may need to retouch the edges with an iron. Before printing on your fabric, you'll want to have a trial run. Place the paper in the tray with the X face down and print. If your info is printed on the X, then you know that this is the correct way to load your paper. In this case, the fabric goes face down in the tray and then print on your fabric. Peel the freezer paper off the back and here's my printed fabric, applique to the back of an I Spy quilt. Hope you decide to make your own fabric. Think of all the possibilities. If you're not a fan of black and white, add some color by changing the background fabric. Try experimenting with permanent markers, colored pencils, fabric markers, or fabric paint to add a little color. These colors don't always hold up through washing, but maybe this will be a piece that you won't be laundering. This works best if your fabric's been pressed to a stabilizer and you're only coloring in small spaces. You might have heard that you can purchase treated fabric sheets that will print in color. Yes, this is true, but sometimes the color fades after washing. Black ink stays put longer than the other inks, especially if you set it with a hot dry iron before washing. You might first want to treat your fabric. You can buy products like Bubble Jet Set or make your own formula. Just Google for the recipe. If you're interested in making more fabric, as in yardage, there are many companies out there that will print your design on fabric. Just Google making custom fabric to start your career as a fabric designer. Thanks for visiting LearnHowToQuilt.com. Please share this quick tutorial with your friends and send us a photo of your computer printed fabric. Don't forget to sign up for updates and free patterns. You'll find the sign up at our website at the bottom of each page. Thanks.